Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard New York Jets News, hosted by Jude Jets, the best darn place for some Jets news. Enjoy your flight. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the New York Jets Daily Recap. I'm your host, Jude Jets. And before we get started, 83% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so yesterday, right after I finished recording the video, the New York Jets signed linebacker Bryce Hager, Noah Dawkins, and offensive lineman Blake Hance to their practice squad. Um, so I guess we're just adding some players to our practice squad um, for deaf reasons. You know, linebackers were pretty thin at that position because Old Glitchy was not good. Um, so just some people on the practice squad to give us a little more depth. And which I this news, which I kind of thought was very hilarious. So the New York Jets signed Marquis Christian to the active roster. If you did not know, we signed him to be one of our backup safeties in free agency. And now, well, no, okay, actually, the deal fell through. So the Jets didn't sign him. He signs with the Bears. Bears release him. And then, boom, he gets back to the New York Jets a couple days after the Bears release him. That's pretty crazy. Um, the Jets are very weak at cornerback because Millette went on IR and... Wilson has a concussion, so it makes sense. He's a DB. He doesn't necessarily have to play safety. He can play all over. He's a versatile guy, a guy that Joe Douglas probably likes because he's versatile. So I can see why the Jets assigned him. Um, so he's going to pr provide some good defensive back depth. Also, the New York Jets protected cornerback Javelin Gildry and wide receiver Lawrence Cager on the practice squad. Um, so this most likely means that they're going to be on the active roster for Sunday's game against the Colts. Um, if you did not know, the NFL lets players, lets the NFL teams protect players on the practice squads because, for instance, the Colts could steal DJ Montgomery off the Jets practice squad. You can just sign players off practice squads, but now they're letting you keep players, not keep them, but like protect them. So the Jets are protecting those two players. Alrighty, Adam Gay said that Jameson Crowder has a hamstring injury, still not running. He has he had the injury seven days ago, and Crowder's still not running. And he's not practicing yet. Now Gase is not ruling him out for Sunday's game, but he's not putting but he's not saying he's gonna play. Um, but he's not IR. So he's in between playing and not playing. We need him to play because the New York Jets best receiver on the team right now who's healthy is Chris Hogan's and we need Crowder. We need that juice that he gives us. And still on the topic of the receivers, Gay said that Perryman, he does not see Perryman playing in the next two games. That's huge for the New York Jets. Perryman really hasn't been good for the New York Jets, but I mean, he was a solid option at wide receiver two. And I felt like, you know, as the weeks would go on, he would start to get more contributed to the team and start playing well. Because if you knew, if you did not know, he started playing well towards the end of the season for the Buccaneers. So maybe that was something that would happen with him this year on the Jets. I mean, obviously we wanted to play good every single game, but maybe he's still learning the offense. Um, but yeah, it's not good that Pyramid's not playing for the next two weeks. Alrighty, Adam Gase did not let Sam Darnold call an audible to a quarterback sneak when the New York Jets went for it on fourth and one against the San Francisco 49ers. Don't know, I was, don't know why I was about to say the Cincinnati Bengals there. Um, but Adam Gase did say he let Sam Darnold call audibles. Actually, the touchdown to Jameson Crowder was a quarterback audible. So obviously, when Sam Darnold calls audibles, he calls better plays than the head coach because if Adam Gates was like, now nah, you can't change the play, cuz we would have lost that game 27 to 10. Um, so we need to let Darnold call his own plays because Gates is just keeping him in this little box and Darnold can't open up the box. He's trapped in this box. Can't call audibles. Gase isn't letting him do such things. That's why we need to fire him and get a coach who's like, Darnold, go for it. Be the quarterback you can be. Because that play, you know, it was a good play. You know, Crowder snuck over there. Darnold was like, okay, this is good formation for uh, one of the screens. We thought Adam Gase called that play, but Darnold actually was the mastermind 
you know, behind one of his best plays of the season. Ooh, one of the best plays for the Jets. All righty, Gay said that Avery Williamson texted him last night to clarify his comments. If you did not know, he said that the Jets are very slow at practice. Well, actually, McDougal said, and Williamson was kind of like, yeah, 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 we're pretty slow at practice. We don't practice like we're going to win or something like that. Um, like saying that they practice sluggish. And, you know, you know, Williamson texted him last night to kind of clarify. We don't know what he texted Gay's. But he did text him to kind of clarify his answer. Adam Gay says that Makai Becton comes to him on the sidelines and says, Coach, run the ball behind me. He's been doing that since high school. Do it, Adam Gase. I mean, clearly, we need to be a left-sided team because no one's getting past Makai Becton. He's 6'7", 360-something pounds. He is insane. Run it behind it. We might actually get some good yards where we're running up the middle because now, I mean, I feel like we're going to start doing it more because McGovern doesn't look like he's going to play against the Colts Sunday. We have a backup center playing. We have a backup center going to start this week probably, and running up the middle is not going to be our best bet. Running it behind Becton would be our best bet, so we need to start doing this, Adam. Alrighty, Bradley McDougal was actually the one who said the comments about the sluggish practice. We all thought he was pointing at Adam Gase, saying that, hey, yeah, Adam Gase is the reason why we suck. Well, actually, he said that he wasn't singling out anybody. He was just saying that we practice sluggish. Um, he doesn't feel like he disrespected anyone. Was just saying that they don't. They practice slow. They don't practice to win games. And you know, we all took it as a shot to Gase, but it was to no one. Um, so that's something good. Good. A reporter asked that question because we were all like, the players don't like Gase. I bet they do. I mean, because I mean, how would you like that coach? He's like not coaching. Here, Desir said that most of his struggles in the opener were due to a hamstring injury that did not allow him to participate in training camp, and also got him cut this off season. Um, now, Desir does play the Colts, the team that cut him. He said it will be an emotional game, so we'll see how he plays this game. He's gonna prove the Colts wrong. Says you cut me for no reason. I'm gonna ball out, intercept Rivers two times, and shove it in your face. Um, so let's hope that hamstring is fully healed because he did not look good. Couldn't condition as much, couldn't get, you know, all of his work in that he needed to get in a training camp. And, you know, let's hope that hamstring heals up. Already McCod right, Beckham was asked, what do you do whenever people throw you on the ground? He goes like, the people say, damn, bro. And all Makai Beckton does is laugh. He says, there's no point in trash talking because he's going to see them the next play. He's a good rookie so far for the New York Jets. What do you want in your rookie? McDougal said that there was a lot more energy this week. Said that people are just flying around all the place. That's good news for the New York Jets. Because, you know, if, if you haven't paid attention recently, Whenever, like, they scored the touchdown, week one against the Bills, Josh Adams' eight-yard rushing touchdown, the only person who held his hands up in the air was Makai Beckton. There was, like, no energy at all that people were like, yay, we scored a touchdown. Oh, well, don't care. Makai Beckton was like, hell yeah. But, um, so, like, no one was showing energy. No one wants to play for Adam Gase. You know, this team is just horrible. That's probably why C.J. Mosley opted out. But I mean, now people are just picking up the tempo or just like, you know what, I'm tired of losing, let's go and win. You know, people like Juna Jenkins are tired of losing. People want to win. So maybe the New York Jets team is just gonna execute that and prove people wrong and beat the Indianapolis Colts this week. Coming on to our final piece of news today is the injury report. Um, the Jets have a ton of players on the injury report, like always, and of course the opposing team's injury report is like four players. So. Let's get on to this injury report. Jameson Crowder has a hamstring injury, did not play. Connor McGovern, who also has a hamstring injury, did not play. Steve McClendon, who had, who did not practice today because of personal reasons. Let's hope those things, the, all this personal stuff gets cleared up and he can get back on the field. Rashad Perriman, who has an ankle injury, did not practice today. Quincy Wilson, who has a concussion, did not practice today. Kalen Blash, who has a rib injury, had limited play. Makai Beckton, who had a shoulder injury, had limited play. This is bad for the New York Jets. Makai Beckton is the best player on the team. He needs to get back on the field and practice now. He had a, like a ankle injury, shoulder injury last week, and he was fine the rest of the week. Maybe they're just like, you know, just take it down a bit. You're good. You don't need to practice. You're going to pancake him when he comes in. You're, like, You're just that good. Um, Ashton Davis who has a groin injury, had limited play. George Finn, who has a concussion, had limited play. Nate Harrison, who has a hip injury, had limited play. Chris Hogan, who has an in rib injury, had limited play. LaMichael P. Ryan, who has an ankle injury, had limited play. Josh Andrews, who has a toe injury, has had full play. 
He's going to be your starting center this week, most likely, so we need him healthy. Joe Flacco is the neck injury is full play. This is the first time Flacco has had full play the entire time with the New York Jets. So it looks like he is going to play this week against the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, he's probably not going to play, but he will be on the roster participating. So it doesn't look like Mike White's going to come off the practice squad. Harvey Lange has an elbow injury, but he had full play. And Avery Williamson has a hamstring injury, so he also has full play. That's the New York Jets injury report coming on to the Indianapolis Colts. So Matthew Adams, who has a ankle injury, did not play. Jack Doyle with the knee injury did not play. And Rocky Sin, their cornerback, who has a non-football illness, did not play. And Julian Blackman, who has a knee injury, did had limited play now. Rocky Sin doesn't have COVID. He actually has a stomach illness. So there's something to keep track of. And this is all the news I have for you today. It was a longer episode than usual because players spoke to the media. There was injuries, a lot of it. Just It was just a lot. Gay okay, said so some stuff. It was just a good day related for media. I loved having long videos because I could talk about the Jets more. So thank you guys for watching. If you are returning, welcome back. I love having you here. If this is your first time watching the New York Jets News channel, make sure to subscribe because I post New York Jets content like this every single day. Follow me on Instagram at JuJets on Instagram and wait. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JuJets. Turn the notification bells on because it alerts you every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for 100 views on yesterday's video. You guys absolutely crushed it. Thanks for watching and as always, go Jets. Peace.